Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new here. My name is Michelle. I create beauty content each and every week. If you enjoy these kind of videos, please make sure you hit that like button. It helps me out a lot and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all my latest videos. And today we're finally testing out the Dollar Tree makeup that I picked up last week. So if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check that out first. But before we jump right into today's video, I want to remind you that you are beautiful, you are loved, and you are worthy. All right guys, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the eyes. And I have this multi stick. This is from LA Colors and it just says it's a makeup stick. And essentially this was supposed to be for the eyes, lips, and cheek. And I'm gonna be using it for the eyes today. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put this on. Okay, so right off the bat, it's really, really not that pigmented. I really have to build this up. Can you kind of tell I'm wearing something on this eye? It's gonna be very subtle, but it is a nice color once you do build it up. However, I just feel like for the lips and cheek, I don't think this would actually show. Maybe for the lips, but definitely not for the cheeks. I'm actually gonna take this blush, which I'm gonna test out on my cheeks later, and I'm gonna set the eyelid with that because we don't want this to smear all over the place. I did pick up a brown eyeliner and I'm really hoping that this is a true brown and not like a brown black. Ooh, it does look like a true brown. Definitely not as pigmented as the black one, but it is brown, like a reddish brown. So I think that would go really good with this pink eye. And I did pick up the black one a while back. It does have like a smell to it. So that is one of the downfalls. Here's the thing. I went off camera and I did my eyeliner on this eye. And then I tried to put on lashes. I figured, hey, let me put on one lash on one eye. And I have these beautiful LA color lashes and they're out of the packaging now. But as you could tell, they did not work out. I tried to put one on and essentially it just was not sticking onto my eye or it would not go close to the lash line. So it just didn't look real. And these are a lot more dramatic than I anticipated them to be. So they really weren't my style of lashes and then it just wasn't going on. It wasn't really easy to work with and maneuver. So if you see these LA Color Dreamy lashes, they're not the best. I still prefer the Ioni lashes. So that I'm gonna recommend that you skip on. And also skip on this eyeliner because when I was putting on those lashes, it was just like taking off my eyeliner and this thing just rubs away so easily. And you really have to build up the pigmentation, which then causes it to flake. So unfortunately, the brown color is not good. The black one worked great for me, but for some reason, this color is just not working for me. I'm not sure if I picked up a dud or what, but it's just unfortunate because I actually really, really like this color. So if you know of any good drugstore brown eyeliners, liquid eyeliners, that are not too dark, let your girl know because I'm I like I love the look of the brown eyeliner, but unfortunately it's just not working for me. I'm gonna go in with these two LA colors. So this is their conceal correctors, and this is a green one. So the green one is supposed to be for the redness, and as you can tell, I have a lot of redness on my skin. I suffer with rosacea. So we're gonna put this on my cheeks just a little bit. Like right here, I have a lot of redness. I'm just gonna grab a brush and just kind of dab it into my skin. I do feel like that looks really nice. It definitely helps out a lot with the redness. As you can tell, it definitely brought it down, especially my cheeks. So we're gonna have to see how this wears underneath the makeup. And then the other color I got was like their peach corrector, and this is really good for under eyes. So, I can, so my under eyes aren't too bad. But peach should fix the like blueness under there. So I'm just gonna go with a little bit because that green went a long way. And when you're using correctors, it is supposed to be used underneath makeup, so you do want to use a very, very little amount. You want a thin layer, especially if you're working underneath your eyes. I think this color might have been too dark for my under eyes. So I didn't pick up any new foundation or concealer, but I do have this one that I did pick up from the Dollar Tree. This is their Essentially Ageless hydrating concealer. This is from that Be Pure collection. I'm just gonna put this right here. So I am going in with my finger first, but if you remember from my haul, I did pick up a sponge. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and use this underneath my eyes. And this is a damp sponge and then this is a non-damp sponge so it does double in size. And it doesn't really absorb too much water. I honestly stopped using sponges because I just felt like the older I got, the more it was actually taking off my makeup. But honestly, this one is actually really good. I'm gonna go in with the clean side and just blend that in. But up next, let's bring some color back into my skin and bronze up my skin. This is supposed to be like cookie scented. It has a scent to it, but definitely doesn't smell like cookies. But this is supposed to be a blush and then around it is the bronzer. I'm just gonna use it as bronzer. I'm trying my best not to get my brush into like that blush color just because there is like sparkles in there, but it is hard considering how big my brush is and how tiny this bronzer is. But my first thoughts are that this really isn't too pigmented. It is definitely way too light for me personally. It does add a little bit of sparkle to your skin, which I'm not a fan of. I really don't wanna add sparkle to my skin. That's not the look I was going for, but hey, it is what it is. Now diving into the blush again. This I have all over my lip and I'm just gonna put my brush in here. It does have quite a bit of sparkles in here. It's very, very glittery. So I'm really hoping that does not translate to my face, but at least we'll know it'll match my eyes no matter what. Okay, so there's definitely some glitter in here. Not a crazy fan, but not too bad. It's not like all over the place, but just little specks. So keep that in mind if you do want to use this blush. But I do like the color. It is cute. It does look really look nice on the skin. Okay, now we're going to go in to the loose highlighter, which I'm really excited about. I really haven't used highlighter in a while. I just feel like it just kind of went away. Like not a lot of people were going for that highlighter look. Before I even go into this, this does look pretty dark, so it might not be my shade. So I'm just gonna barely tap my brush into it. I feel like this side of my face has a lot of glitter on it already. So I'm gonna just stamp it in. All right, so my first impression is it's not a finely milled powder. So you are gonna see all of this latch onto your texture. Like I have some texture over here. Just feel like it's kind of accentuating it. And it just, honestly, again, it's just added more glitter to my face. Personally, I would pass on that. Right now we're gonna try the Remy Rose lipstick. I think it's like a liquid lipstick. Okay, I actually really like this color. However, I don't know if this is gonna dry down or not. I don't know, it doesn't feel like it's gonna dry down. So I don't know if I could actually say this is a liquid lipstick, but I do really, really like the color. And the formula is nice. It does feel lightweight on my lips. It doesn't really bother my lips at all. So I guess I'll have to keep you updated if it does crumble or anything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video trying on Dollar Tree makeup. And before signing off, I want to remind you that you are beautiful, you are loved, and you are worthy. All right, guys. Love you. Bye.